Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to be bidding on a 2022 MV Agusta 1000 RR. Now I know zero about MV Agusta, never even ridden one, and I've probably only seen one or two in my life. This one is completely destroyed. It is burned so bad. Check out these photos from the auction and we are about to be bidding live on this bike. Minimum bid. All right, we are down to 11 minutes left until the Augusta Augusta is up for sale. Three minutes left until the Brunel or Brutel. The current bid is at 450. Next on the block. One minute left. All right, we're up. We're up, baby. We're up. Maryland. Hey, hey, back off. All right. Goodness gracious. 525 Wisconsin taking Maryland. Stop it. Stop it. Maryland. This is me. No, Maryland. 625 Maryland. Come on. Be respectful. All right. Six, seven, eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Arkansas. Who said you could jump in on this? Guys, this bike's literally burnt to, burnt to a crisp. Come on. Arkansas. Stop it. 975. I was about to say underground would be nice, but no, sir. Me at 150. Also, this bike says it retails for 48000 That's not right. There's no way it's 48000 I was looking this up. It's only like a $30,000 bike. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that like it's nothing, but 48000 There's no way this thing's 48 k Unless this is like a special edition. Guys. This is going to be the most expensive burnt bike I've ever bought in my entire life. <laughs> 2K. That is a carbon wheel. Did some zooming in. My dude, please. I'm begging you, my dude. Relax. Do people even live in Arkansas? This thing is absolutely smoked to a crisp. This thing is a burnt crisp. This thing is a toast, Tostito chip that has been left in the toaster for too long. And it's going for $4,500. What is wrong with people? I mean, I am part of that people. I was planning on making this a cheap video. 5,200, 5,300. Man, this is insane. It started at $400 and now we're at 5,300. Please, sir, just relax. Oh my gosh. I just want a burnt crispy bike for $5,300. Brother, my brother from Arkansas. What was that? I mean, man, come on. We start at $400 and then we go up to $5,300. I don't even know these bikes and I'm excited to learn all about them. Good morning, guys. We're waiting for that MV Agusta to arrive. The delivery driver is about 30 minutes away. Here are some of the photos that he took when he picked it up at the auction. Man, I can't wait. It is a little bit drizzly outside. I have to let you guys know, I found out some insane stuff about this bike. Remember how I said it had a carbon wheel? Yeah, you know why that is? Because it's the Nürburgring edition, MV Agusta Brutale. They only made like 105 of these bikes. That's why it's $48,000 for the retail price. Differences with the Nürburgring edition is the carbon wheels custom made from MV Agusta. That's why you can see the little MV Agusta logo on the carbon wheel. You can't get that from like Rotobox or something like that. Also with the Nürburgring edition, the fairings are different colors. The internals are different on the Brutale. It's an upgraded ECU, a full titanium spark exhaust, from the factory. The Copart listing did not even show Nürburgring edition, but when I did some other research online, I'm also seeing this word next to it. I'm not sure what that means, but maybe that's something special too. Andy said he's gonna be here in five to 10 minutes. Can't wait. Time to unload her. Yep. Wow. Holy smokes. 
I don't want to do too much speculation, but look at that Olin's fluid reservoir. Man, it's just absolutely gone. That's what maybe started the fire. That fluid is extremely flammable, touches this spark exhaust, boom. Also, this exhaust is insane. It's fully titanium all the way to the front. Sadly, this is what's left of that carbon wheel. Man, that's a lot of carbon fiber. You even see how thick the wheel is. Because the wheel is still on the hub. They even left me some bolts in the bottom of the gas tank. How thoughtful of them. I was hoping this dash was savable, but holy smokes. Look at those wrinkles, dog. Oh, look at that. Heated grips. This headlight's pretty melted. Custom MV Olin shocks. Okay, let's get this thing in the garage. Catch you when this bike is revealed. What's up guys, President CJ here. I'm actually stupid. I haven't seen this thing for a couple months. What did I get myself into? But on the bright side, I found out something pretty cool. This Ducati stand I bought for my 1199 back in the day and guess what? It should work on this MV. And this should help me move it around the shop. Let's try. Come on, please fit. Nice. All right, now we just gotta try to figure out how to get this out of here. Hopefully I don't drop this brutale, brutale, cause it's in pretty good condition, so I wanna keep it like that. So let's try to get this thing off the blocks.
Sorry, I guess I'm not saving this wiring harness like we did on the Aprilia. I mean, it's doable, but I'm being lazy. But the cleanest thing in this whole bike right here. Look at that, the rubber, not melted. What, you, what even is this? Let's check it out. It's a fuse, but it looks pretty burnt actually. Oh dang, that's a lot of goo. Well, we finally got that gas tank off. Man, once that plastic melts and welds everything else around it, it is impossible to get off. And we had to cut through these metal studs going through the air box to the throttle bodies. No idea what these go to, but look at all the junk in these things. Holy cow. Good thing none of them are open. And we got all the wiring that goes to the rear. The harness goes around both sides, actually. There's a main harness that goes down here, and then another side that goes along the fuel tank up around and in here. We also removed the dash, the battery, which I assume is extremely toxic. Look, I think that's lithium ion. Look at all those like little packets in there. That's funky. Definitely probably shouldn't be breathing or touching that. Here's the dash. I am going to try and power this thing up once we get this bike up and running. Yes, we will get this bike up and running. Hopefully it still works. Looks like the bottom is pretty melted, but you can still see the motherboard in there. So I hope that's okay. And here's just a bunch of carbon on the top, along with the steering dampener from Olin's. It is electronic, but pretty sure that's toasted. I am loving this bike so far, and we need to get the throttle bodies off next. I believe these eights are what remove it. And look, everything is just so melted. It's gonna be interesting getting to those and removing the throttle bodies, as well as removing all this extra air box material that has melted and reformed on top of them. Another thing I'm noticing about this special edition is there is a ton of carbon everywhere. Like everything on this bike is carbon. Carbon, carbon front fairings, carbon here, carbon there. Even the cowl that the dash bolts to is carbon. Look at this thing, like straight up carbon with threaded inserts in it. I mean, I'm definitely not used to that. The Olin's electronic suspension looks to be okay on the tops. I wonder if the heat ruins the seals in these things and they might need to be rebuilt just my guess my main focus next for this brutality is getting that engine out because we have to go over that engine so remove the throttle bodies disconnect all the burnt wiring the radiators the coolers the oil cooler underneath the exhaust yeah it'll probably be a pain to remove but definitely worth it i love this bike that's gonna be it for tonight guys we'll catch you guys in the next one once we tear this thing down open up that engine and get right to work we'll catch you guys in the next one see ya